What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Let's Play Honey Pop. Again, this is a patron pick episode where the patrons voted to have another episode of Honey Pop. The first one was a patron pick, and this one is as well, if I hadn't made that abundantly clear at this point. So, we're gonna continue our game from the last one. I said in the first episode that I probably wouldn't be playing too much more. And I still do mean that. However, it was very apparent that we didn't hey, get to see all the different characters, and we still hadn't really, you know, cracked the surface of the game. And part of why I didn't want to get too far in the game is just because this is a really well-known game, a really popular game, and a game that is also really well-known for its NSFW content. And that's not something I want to mess around with too much on my channel, so... Again, I am putting kind of a limit on, there's probably not going to be more than a few episodes, we're not even going to dabble into that territory, but for the sake of appeasing the patrons' desires, uh, we'll, we'll play a couple more episodes, potentially, and get to know the other characters, get to do some puzzles, etc. And of course, hopefully that's enough exposure that if you are interested in seeing what the rest of the game has to offer, there are other YouTubers that have done it, and the game itself is, is pretty cheap on Steam, I think. Either way, it's, it is a good game. Um, alright, let's see, we got a message. I'll make you a deal. Every time you give a girl a gift that she loves, I'll have one of our interns send you a present too. Something you can use on dates. Ah, I'm such a nice person. Er, fairy. Okay, Q. Okay. So, we had pretty much exhausted her, I guess, like, hunger meter. I'm trying to remember. I think we saw, yeah, this girl, Jessie. Uh before pressure what's her name belly into this swimsuit unfortunately shouldn't be pressured into doing such a thing and we already asked her on a date we could talk with her for more honey but again i'm not too concerned with it so let's let's go to Je uh, the bar and lounge and we can meet a new character hey lola oh you Bitch, you didn't tell me you were back in town. <laughs> hey, lover. Just got in a couple days ago. Missed you. Excuses. You know you're supposed to check in with me as soon as you hit the ground. <laughs> of course. What was I thinking? I'm sorry, honey. Won't happen again. That's more like it. How have you been, my darling? Staying out of trouble. Darling. Well, I try, but trouble has a hard time staying out of me. <laughs> so I take it work is good? Never better, but enough about me. What's Any going idea on, what her work Any is? Any <laughs> to share? Ugh, where do I start? Hold that thought. Have a seat. I'm going to go grab you a drink. I want to hear all about it. Uh, I'd love to. But... but... Yeah, I've got an early day tomorrow. I just stopped in for a second. Ugh, come on. You're not going to make me sit here and drink all by myself, are you? Oh, don't pressure her like that. I'll call you later this week. Girls' night out all the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here already. Love you, baby. <laughs> For what it's worth, the dialogue is, is pretty interesting. Looks like a total cougar. Q. Too. I don't Q, think please. you realize the gravity of the situation here. This is what separates the men from the boys. You've got to be aggressive. You've got that to be nice aggressive. Be e aggressive. <laughs> Reminds me of the the cheers when from when I played like oh man, a long time ago when I played football. Regardless, uh, so we have this lady in front of us. We got to be aggressive. How much? Hey, beautiful. I can't seem to take my eyes off of you. Or this is a supremely nice. <laughs> ten out of ten. Oh my. Um, we'll we'll go with hey, beautiful. I can't take my eyes off you. Come a little closer. There's a lot more to see. I don't believe I've had the pleasure of meeting you. The cute ones are always hiding. Hun, do me a favor Hun? and help me out with my empty glass. Pretty please. I can totally see her just playing everyone available to get more drinks potentially. Coming right up or what are you having? What's in it for me? Ooh, that's that, that is aggressive. Oh. I can make it worth your while, sweetie. Trust me. How many drinks does it take to get underneath that shirt? Actually, why don't we get out of here? What do we do about the fact that we're desperately attracted to each other? <laughs> well, we'll go with... Oh, man. So out of character. Only one way to find out, huh? You haven't even asked my name yet. 
I'm more than just a pretty face, you know. Most gentlemen your age know me as Misty. As I Misty. <laughs> so you should feel honored. I only share that secret with people I like. Oh, really? It was just love at first sight. Okay. Um. So I guess, looking at her hunger meter, what we can do is probably just chat with her first. You can ask me anything you like. So exactly how old are you? Ooh, I don't know about that. This is random, but how tall are you? Where's your favorite place to hang out? Wherever I can get a drink. I'm at the bar most nights. Makes sense. Um, so, let's talk again. Tell me something. How do you feel about little tiny lies if nobody gets hurt? Well, I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan. However, I think Jesse, on the other hand, is going to say, well, as long as nobody gets hurt. Yeah, see, what people don't know can't hurt them. So, you just keep it to yourself. <laughs> okay, Jesse. Hang on one second, guys. Alright, so before she runs out of her hunger meter or whatever, let's go on a date. I would never say no to you, sweetie. I'm Man, right off the bat. Granted, it is kind of her job to flirt with or, you know, please whoever <laughs> comes to her. You what? Know the best part about a casino? Free drinks. Do you like work here? Are you one of the waitresses or something? Why are you just showing up to a casino like that? Alright, so we've got 20 moves to get 220 EXP. I should have leveled up my stats beforehand, but, um, it's alright. I'm a little bit rusty relative to the previous oh video, I guess. But for the time being, we should be alright. What does she like? I think she likes sexuality the most, which is probably not surprising, given the conversations we've had with her thus far. So in the meantime, what do we want to do? I think upping our passion will be, in general, pretty helpful. Uh, but is there a more optimal move to make? Hmm... Maybe. But I'm not super set on it. So is there anything else I want to set up, potentially? Maybe, but probably not. We'll do that for now. <laughs> And see if we can set anything else up of interest. I could, you know, use these. Would that be helpful? Maybe. Oh my gosh. We at least got one of those, like, power tokens or whatever they're called. We can maybe set up some sentiment this way. I don't think we're doing too great if I'm if I'm real. Hmm. Go this way, level up our passion. <laughs> Yay! So that with the remainder of our moves, we are, you know, gaining more per move. And we could probably set up a nice quadruple like that. <laughs> it's not her, like, this. favorite element, per se, but it's... Alright, <laughs> do you guys hear that loop in the, the soundtrack? Now, ooh, I really want to get... way of going about this. Let's do this for now. Hopefully, ah oh, darn, no, no blues. That's okay for now, I guess. Any other interesting setups, though? Not that I can really see. I guess for the time being, what we can do is maybe something like this. That's my baby. That was, that was a pretty nice setup for the most part. I think the other thing I maybe want to do... Let's level up our passion a little bit more. And then... And then... Which quadruple do I want to set up? One of them is a little bit dangerous because of the broken hearts uh, that might fall down here. So I think what I'll end up doing is this particular setup. Oh my gosh. And that'll get us plenty of points. On top of that, there are some bells starting to build up in the horizon, and some sentiment as well. For the time being, we can do those. Yay. I mean, it's not our favorite, but it's fine enough. We can get some sentiment in addition to talent here. We're also starting to get pretty close with some of these 
Broken Hearts. So I'm thinking maybe we'll want to use the Stuffed Bear because we only have seven moves. So I'm, I'm down to do this for now. So we're at Max Passion now. And... Hmm... I actually don't see a whole lot of Bell moves, which is really surprising. And there's no point in really getting any more sentiment at this point. I mean, I could match some sexuality tokens, but that doesn't feel like the best use. Or what I can do, actually, is I can do this, and that'll drop a sexuality token so I can get a 5. And that'll be really nice. Oh man, a lot broke there. <laughs> so we've only got four more points to get. Um, which means we really just need to match one thing without screwing it up. So let's go over here and do that. Because, oh really? <laughs> Still one more thing? Okay, how about this? That shouldn't mess anything up. And with that, we succeeded. That probably wasn't the cleanest puzzle we, we've done up until this point, but eh, it's good enough, right? Oh, it's been so long since I dated like this. <laughs> when was the last time you dated with a puzzle board? Alright, so as I, I probably mentioned in the previous episode, you can unlock the different outfits as you go on different dates. And now I think I think we can just move on to well, we can talk more, so, I think, right? I'm dying to know something. You're just dying right to know something. How what is it that you're dying to know, Jesse? How do you feel about smokers? Personally, it's bad for health. I don't think it's uh, very attractive. And I don't know if I could date someone who smoked personally. However, because Jesse, without a doubt, smokes, um, we're, we're gonna go with, to be honest, I think they're kind of sexy. Not you, really? <laughs> oh, I'll have to keep that in mind. Yeah, good, good thing that's uh, stuck to the game. So now, we'll head over to Lola Kisses. in the Nutmeg Cafe. And I've got to remember, before this upcoming date, I've got to level up my different stats, because I'm definitely building up some honey. Excuse me, miss. And this girl, yeah. I've been here this blue-haired girl, is a typical favorite amongst oh, uh, a lot yeah. of people that play the game. So my shift just ended. I'm pretty much out the door already. Um, I think someone else should be in any minute. I'm just looking to get a cappuccino. It only <laughs> takes a second. I mean, it's more than a second, so... So... Are you serious? <laughs> I should like... have left over 15 minutes ago, okay? I'm done. Wow. <laughs> Yikes. Okay. I mean, I get it, though. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, I you're only paid... Chocolate. Oh, my I'll God. Tall glass of see, these are the types of comments that I'm like... You know what I'm saying? Honey Pop, really? Really? Let's see. Considering what just went down, she's probably a little pissed off. Try to get on her good side. Open with something safe, like something she probably wants to hear. Being able to lend a listening ear, or being able to, uh, you know, reassure someone regarding how they're, however they're feeling, is certainly a skill. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed today. That's not gonna work. Have you ever been like upset or kind of frustrated or crabby, and somebody's like, "Well, someone's a little crabby, or someone's in a bad mood, or whatever." The last thing that—that's the last thing you want to hear. That only instigates things further. Um, <laughs> but. Ridiculous. Do you want me to talk to the manager? Customer service these days. She probably doesn't want to go all the way to talking to the manager. Probably just m complain with. I know, right? It's ridiculous. I mean, really, is a cup of coffee so much to ask? So sorry to inconvenience you. Have you been waiting here long too? <laughs> For what it's worth, I mean, it's not like she knows what the, the other girl's life has been, where she needs to be getting to when she's not working, etc. What she has going on. I do, as a person who's played Honey Pop before, but you can't really make those assumptions, can you? I've only been waiting for a chance to talk with you. I can't remember when I look at you, time stands still. Yeah, but it's okay because I've had you to admire while I wait. Uh, let's, uh, let, let's go with that. <laughs> Is that the case? I'm glad I could be of service. I have to give you credit, though. That's pretty brave. You don't hear that often enough. Is that your technique? Hitting on girls at the coffee shop? <laughs> as they get frustrated as the barista leaves. 
is it working? <laughs> or only if they are as cute as you are. I just do whatever the magic fairy that follows me around and tells me. How true! <laughs> How true. I actually, I don't think any of these are egregiously, you know, wrong in this case. Um... Oh, let's go with, is it working? I wouldn't say it's not working. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I think it's like a clever but comical answer. I normally don't give in so easily, so consider yourself lucky. We just have that protagonist Zella. armor. Pleasure. If I can get my cap sometime in the next year, maybe we can sit down. I want to hear more about how attractive I am. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, so let's let's, let's talk with it. Looking. What's cooking? Good looking. That's her line. That's what it is. That's so funny. Each of them has their own like catchphrase that you'll hear plenty of times. And I just remember what's cooking good looking. <laughs> what would you say your main hobby is? Or Lynn question, what's your favorite color? What did you study in college? I with a four-year degree in business administration. Business administration. Interesting. You know Let's what talk I'm again. Curious about? Are what you are you curious sports? about? Oh. I don't like to brag, but yeah, I'm pretty much the best of all time. I was always picked last in gym class, or I'm alright, I give him my best. That's all you can do, really. I, I think that's an honest answer. That's true, that's true. You can't deny that. Dang. That was not the right option. I knew she wanted me to be good at sports, but I also didn't want to be unbelievably good from whatever answer I gave. Alright, so let's let's take a look at um the honeybee and see if we can upgrade certain things. So I'm pretty sure Lola likes, what is it? Is it, it's not, um, I think it's the blue ones. Or maybe it's romance, I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's, we can upgrade our luck or let's go with passion. I think passion and charisma might be helpful. Let's go, let's go with passion for now. I think that'll be the most helpful. And we don't have quite enough for, for too much more. However, what we can do is go to the store and grab some gifts. We can get some some baking utensils, I guess. Um, maybe a wing pin, because I'm pretty sure she's a, uh, a pilot. Is she a pilot or a flight attendant? I don't remember. Regardless, we'll give her the, the wing pin. I always pin. wanted one of these. Cool. Happy. What a nice thing for you to do. And now we get a little bit more honey. So that was what I was hoping for. Some of the times, I mean, you got to use your money as well to, to gain honey so that you can upgrade things. So now we can upgrade our, our luck. So we can get more power tokens and our passion is going to increase the bonus we get from different types of tokens. So now we can go on a date. I was about to ask you and the something same. else. Shall we? <laughs> I was about to ask you the same thing. Shall we? Wow. Uh, when we talk to Lola, It'll give us plus 75 honey instead of 50 honey, and that's because we gave her the unique gift that she has affinity so for. What? Relaxing. Shout me if I start to doze off. Lola! Game. Oh man. Oh man. Um Alright, let's let's start off here. I think passion is usually a good thing to start off with. For the time being. We can always start off with getting more moves though, especially given how we're mobilizing a lot of the, the passion hearts or passion tokens. I think that's a good starting point as well. The other thing I can do is this and we'll get passion in addition to sentiment. So that's never, never a bad thing. What else? Uh, we can get ourselves another move like that. Relatively simple stuff, but you know, gets the job done. And then what else? We can go with potentially more passion, I think. The thing is, I'm really afraid of all these broken hearts in the middle. And we've used up a lot of the bells, so it's not like we're going to be getting too many extra moves. Our passion's still only at level 1, though, which is not ideal. We should probably start going to uh, level up all of our, our stuff now. Actually, you know, work on some meaningful tokens. I want to get this flirtation going. You can do something like that and maybe double up. The only question is, yeah, we'll be fine on the broken heart thing. Although, there are quite a few of them. Quite a few. Now, what? Let's see. I could go with... 
something simple like this. I think this will be helpful because it will set us up for a sexuality combo. So now what we can do is bring this over here. And I'm surprised we didn't get a power token, actually. That is really surprising. But now we should be good to set this up, get an extra turn, and to get some affection as well. Our passion's still only level 2, and we've got to make our way up to 260, uh, which is quite a bit. We can get ourselves another move here. I am concerned about all these broken hearts in the middle, though. So we're going to want to be careful there. This should get us quite a bit of points because of the, um, what's it called? The power token that was there. I think we have three sentiment. How much sentiment do we need for this? Six? We might want to look into that pretty soon because just in general, having more sentiment is, is pretty helpful. And there are all these broken hearts here in the middle that I kind of want to boost up to, to passion before before we really utilize a lot of our bigger combos. So I think I'm gonna do that. So we got quite a bit of sentiment, we got some affection, and we got our passion up to level three. So now I feel a lot more comfortable about progressing, I guess. And now, oh, I was gonna, I probably should have waited before acting like that. Uh, I was gonna bring this passion, or bring one of these green tokens up in combo like that, but it doesn't seem like that's going to be as killer of a combo as it would have been otherwise. What else? I could bring this here and double up like that. Excellent. I think that's pretty nice. Now, we got all, look at all this blue and red in the middle here. There's got to be some nice setup I can do with that. This is an alright setup. It's not crazy good, but it's something. Impressive. Could do that for the time being. Similarly, we could probably use this talent here. We could also do this and double up that way. <laughs> Got 16 moves left. At least we're getting some bells on the, the board, which is always nice. We don't really have any use for more sentiment. Should probably work on that, equipping different items and stuff. I'm probably not playing optimally. But it's also because I'm not super invested in, you know, getting the, the perfect type of file. We got a lot of sentiment on the board, which is not ideal. Given our relatively low sentiment needs. So the question becomes... Let's go with this for passion. Because passion will actually provide a little bit more utility. And maybe we can go with something like that. She seems to like affection quite a bit. So we can focus on maybe setting up a combo for that. We can get a turn back by going there. A lot of blues. Um, a, lot of, a lot of reds building up in this corner over here. We'll want to keep an eye on that. Otherwise, something else I can potentially do is bring this passion over here to set up for sentiment. But that's not going to line up too much else that's really all that helpful. So I think what I'll do is line this up and then start to line up these bells so that I can bring this over and uh, hopefully yeah, just get a new turn without risking any of the broken hearts, which can do quite a bit of damage. Now, is there anything else that looks particularly enticing? Um... Hmm... I kind of want to clear these these green ones in the middle and let let this blue talent drop down. What's the best way of going about that though? Let's do this. You're cool. So we got a little bit of a, a double combo there. We still have room to grow for our um, our passion right now. So staying open to that possibility. I'm not seeing a lot of good opportunities for combos, which is starting to get a little bit concerning. We, we still technically have 14 moves, but that doesn't mean you want to, you know, waste them. I guess these broken hearts are starting to get concerning. I can do this. 
let things drop down a little bit and see from there. Maybe quite a bit of passion there. Passion's at level 5, which is nice. Can do that and hopefully set up for four of the... What are these again? Flirtation. <laughs> and potentially even... We have a, a bit of a setup for affection in the lower right corner here. Uh, quadruple affection down there. Um, what's the best way of going about it? Hmm. I want to go for a quadruple, but I'm not seeing too great of a setup, unfortunately. I think what I'm going to do is this, and see what that introduces to the board. And we're still in not the greatest position, unfortunately. Because we got all this sentiment, we got all these broken hearts. It's like a minefield on the board right now. <laughs> it's not that there aren't any moves, it's just that the moves that are available aren't exactly great in my opinion. So something that might be helpful is if I do this. Oh wait, no, that's not gonna do anything. Um, if I clear one of these lines like this, I can lower... Oh, I thought it was going to lower another one. My bad. Regardless, we can do this and get two extra turns, which will be really helpful in the long run. And if I can move this broken heart freely now over... Let's go with here. Instead of the five over there. So that's really helpful. I still have room to grow for my passion, so maybe want to do that soon. But again, we're still setting up for potentially this quadruple in the bottom, and if we can clear these reds, actually, we could do something like that. Do I want to clear the reds, or do I want to get the passion first? Let's get the passion first. And then... Could potentially just double up right here and give up on the quadruple. It's not exactly ideal though. But do I have much of a choice? Because the board ain't looking too hot. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. Just take what we can. And get an extra turn here. Clear up some of the sentiment on the board. We can uh, take this extra turn as well. Take this extra turn. That's comforting. We can take a quadruple here. And we're maybe, we can get some affection going. Not a whole lot though. Is it possible for me to bring a blue talent over towards the right so we can use a, a four in this lower half of the board? Um, I don't see any immediate applications. Honestly, at this point, I feel like just kind of clearing that and allowing everything to, to come down a bit. Because now we have another setup for a four um, here. And that is going to put us at success. Whew. Those those broken hearts in the lower left corner were really, really had me on edge. Mm-hmm. You're a keeper. Aw, th thanks, Lola. <laughs> Just really got to make sure every move counts. Okay, so now that we've gone on that date, we have close to no honey. If I ask you a question, let's talk what's to your Lola. biggest goal in life? What's my biggest goal in life? Well, I'm trying to get laid a whole lot. That's going to go over really well. To discover new things, to learn and explore. I don't have a specific goal. I'm just along for the ride. Let's learn and explore. That's a good answer. Can I steal Heck yeah, that from it is. you? Hey, can I steal that from you? Sure. Okay, so obviously we have a ton of money right now. We could use that to buy food, buy gifts, etc. to keep 
talking to Lola and get some more honey and that's obviously optimal for leveling things up. For the time being though, there are definitely more girls to to introduce ourselves to and for the sake of patron pick and the episode, we'll continue on to that. So there was that blue haired girl right, that upset Lola. We're gonna go to <clears throat> Lusty's nightclub <laughs> to meet her. Audrey, can we leave now? Calm down. We got so many new messages. We just got here. Calm down, we just Nick. Got Whoa. Here. We've been here for at least an hour. Don't be such a downer. Loosen up a little. I'll buy you a drink. Uh, what do you want? I, I hate the I concept of loosening anything. up with a drink. I'm not even old enough to drink. You're not even old enough to drink. <laughs> they don't care. Okay. Oh my god. Why do you do this every fucking time? Can't you just, like, chill out for once? I don't know. Have fun. This isn't fun. Everybody here is a complete douchebag. I told you I didn't want to come here and you dragged me anyway. Just like last time. Because you can't just sit in your room all day! You need to fucking exist or something! I don't sit in my room all day. Whatever! Go! Leave! Bye! Aw, oh, shit! I was afraid we might run into one of these. I didn't look like she's a big fan of people. But your weirdness might actually pay off here. Hmm. I never thought I'd say this to you, but just be yourself. My uh my apologies for being being pulled in different directions during this recording, but regardless. We finally have Nikki in front of us, and she was getting berated by her friend Audrey, who was not a big fan of her not wanting to be at the nightclub. Understandably so, nightclubs are not my scene. Parties have never really been my scene. I am absolutely an introvert. I enjoy socializing, but in a really loud environment, in an environment where dancing is typically a thing and I'm not super into dancing, there was a brief period, a brief maybe like, year or so, where I actually felt pretty comfortable dancing and enjoyed it, but for some reason I've never returned to the said days, and uh, now such an environment, while maybe cool to sit and chat with people along the side, is not exactly my scene. So regardless, let's finally, let's talk to Nikki. Your friend seems interesting. Um, hey, you look like you'd rather be somewhere else. I don't know, she's, she's kind of blunt. Let's go with that. No shit. What gave it away? <laughs> I feel your pain. This isn't really my scene either. Actually, though, actually, though. Okay, so why are you here exactly? Sorry, but can you leave me alone? There's Oof. plenty of other girls here for you to talk to. Why are you so hostile? I'm just trying to say, oh, all right, yeah, sorry to bother you. That's what I'm talking to you. I can't stand these other girls. Ooh, that's the Look, right answer I for see sure. What you're trying to do, but I'm not interested, okay? Fair enough. Don't beat yourself up over it. She was a lost cause to begin with. Plenty of fish in the sea. Let's see, how about... Wait, is she coming back over here? <laughs> this ought to be interesting. When you think you, you know, had the bad route, the, the bad um, end. Hey, you know what? It's Nikki. My name. Maybe I was a little bit quick to judge. Force of habit. I'm normally not the type of girl that, like, talks to people, or whatever, but I guess you can keep me company until my friend is ready to go. So, for what it's worth, Nikki is an incredibly popular character amongst the Honeypop fan base because she's kind of like the gamer, introvert girl who probably relates to a lot of the fan base. So, with that being said, let's, um, let's purchase some gifts. We'll get her... What do we want to get her? We'll get her a unique gift. The retro controller. And we'll get her... Some decorative pens. And... Seaweed. <laughs> we'll save the bag of goldfish for now. So let's give her all this stuff. I really appreciate it. I'm but sure you do. You don't have to, like, buy me stuff. I'm not sure what I did to deserve this, but thank you. <laughs> a comment that could very easily be positive or negative. And then, of course, the retro controller. Clearly an NES controller. Holy shit! Where the fuck did you find this? <laughs> Love that reaction. I should have given that to her before the other things, because it increases the amount of honey you get, you know. But, um, 
It's alright. We'll talk to her a little so bit now. maybe this is kind of personal, but, but... What kind of games do you play? <laughs> I'm not that interested. Sometimes I play those mobile games, though. Oh, cringe! Cringe! I have all the latest consoles and games. You should see my sick uh, setup. I'm more of an old-school gamer. Nothing like the classics. We're gonna... I have a sick setup, kind of. I don't have all the latest consoles, but I, I would definitely consider myself more of a school Thank gamer in God. general. But <laughs> I was afraid you were another one of these FPS bros. FPS bros. <laughs> I, I did play Call of Duty actually competitively for a bit in in college actually. This is kind of a it was quite a bit of fun. But I guess I'll ask. But you. I did definitely outgrow FPSs. Do you consider yourself a liberal or a conservative person? Um. <laughs> maybe this is maybe this is Nikki's. I can totally see her holding this attitude. I'm definitely more liberal than conservative. Um, I don't know. I think she's con is she going more political or like personality wise, right? Because I would consider myself a pretty conservative person with liberal political views, right? Um, I think let let's go with this. Given this answer choice, I think she's talking about politics. What? No, you're bullshitting me. My B. My B. Um, so Ooh. I want a little bit more honey so I can upgrade something. So what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to buy the bag of goldfish. I don't want to give it to her just yet, though. We'll, we'll give her some food. Although, will this give us any honey? Let's see here. I don't remember. Yeah, okay. Thanks. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we can talk with her again. Um... So, so yeah. yeah, the conversation is, um, where is your favorite place to hang out? What do you do, like, for work? What do you say your main hobby is? Let's see, what, what do you do for work again? Um, I'm a barista at the cafe. Somebody please tell me. <laughs> <laughs> and we already knew that. Oh, also, we got plenty of messages, right? Um, okay, Here, here's a picture from Jesse, guys. Oh, I love my boobs in this pic. Of all the pics of me out there on the internet, I think this one has to be my favorite. You know what? This is the first of many photos you can get for each of the girls. They have progressive, progressively risque photos that you can unlock as you go on dates with them. This is the first one, so maybe it's not the most intense. If it is, it will be censored. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> For those of you that are curious, let your eyes wander. And now, <laughs> Q says, know how to use booze to your advantage. Usually girls will only drink at night when they're out, but the more hammered she is, the more honey you'll earn by talking with her or giving her gifts. Again, not a big fan of the whole get drunk to succeed uh, tactic, but it's a game mechanic. Now, the traits. I think now we're gonna wanna go with, oh, what is she like again? I don't remember. Is it talent, or is it flirtation, or is it romance? It's definitely not sexuality. Is it sensitivity? No. The penalty for broken, matching broken hearts decreases. This is like the one of those power-ups that I never really go for, because it's like a, if you're bad enough at the game to have this encounter, encounter or to have this happen to you, the penalty is reduced, right? I would never spend like in-game currency on that, because I'd just be like, I should just play better in the first place. Um, regardless... We'll, we'll go with the, the snake flute. And now let's go on a date. You really want to go out with me? All right. <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, not at the nightclub too. So now we are in an outdoor lounge. This is where we had our very this first date. This is usually my sort of scene, but I'll admit it's kind of nice. And <laughs> she shows up in her pajamas. Granted, it's not that outlandish compared to some of the other outfits people have shown up in. Now, I should have oh, I should have gotten something for uh, a gift that's you know reusable to equip myself with. Regardless, what we can do is set up a move there, and then we can. Uh... Do I want to move the reds? No, I don't. Okay, so we'll get four sentiment. So we have enough sentiment to get ourselves out of any trouble with broken hearts, should we need to. I should have been paying attention to what's been going well for her. I think I'm gonna to want to set up some passion combos, but it's not looking too promising. What I can do is bring this up here, maybe. 
Yeah, let's do that. And then what I can do is bring this and get some more passion that way. So that should be pretty helpful. I don't think there are passion power tokens, unfortunately. But that's all right. We'll make do with what we have available. So there's obviously the, the power um, or the four combo of talent on the right. What I'm going to do is actually drag a sexuality token over here to hopefully set up for another four combo over there. However, Not too bad. I need to be careful because there's some broken hearts starting to bunch up. It seems she really liked, what are these, the talent ones, the blue ones? So we'll definitely want to keep that in mind going forward. Do I want to... Let's let's line this up and break up this a little bit. <laughs> that did pretty well too, actually. And then maybe work with the, the sexuality four combo over here. And again, that shouldn't give us any broken heart combos, so we'll, we'll leave it at that. Although things are definitely getting closer. Do I want to... I can bring this passion over here, get a little bit of passion, and then I can actually get now, ooh, what became a four combo for an extra move, and a whole bunch of other stuff. How neat. So, what I kind of want to set up for a five combo of sexuality tokens up there. However, is that the best thing? Actually, I think it'll work pretty well if I make, if I just do this four combo here. All right, all right. And yeah, so now I've got this power token here, and if I were to, if I can find a place to bring this um, highlighted flirtation, or is that romance? Romance over to the right, I can set up for a five sexuality combo. But regardless, what's more important is there is a five talent combo here, and that that put in a lot of mileage, <laughs> a lot of mileage. So that is wonderful. What else is there to consider? I guess I could just go for this Pretty cool. combo. We still have another power token left behind from that. This talent uh, power token is going to be really helpful down the road. I think what I'm going to want to do is this. We can bring things down and we can also line up for an extra move. However, we need to be careful again about these hearts down here. We're still okay, but it's certainly not comfortable is what I'll say. Then, how do we want to line things up? Well, I could go for more passion. I think that would be a worthwhile investment at the moment. The question is, I don't see any good four setups, right? For passion, that is. I see potentially a setup for the sexuality up there, and that's maybe, maybe down here, but I can't clear these passion ones like that because I'll get the broken heart, which is why I'm a bit hesitant to do that. I could, no, I can't clear these ones without screwing that up. <laughs> so I think what I'll do instead is bring this up here. We'll get a little bit of passion, but we'll start to break up the everything down here. I can bring this to get a four sentiment up here. And oh man, we ended up using the power talent token, which is not exactly how I wanted to use it. So I'm a little bit bummed about that, but aside from that, I think we may want to use the gift soon, the stuffed bear, because I'm not seeing a lot of good combos. I'm really not. I maybe want to try and set up like a four of the, the romance on the side, but again, I'm just not confident it'll actually work. I guess I can go for a passion combo with this and just drop these guys a bit to see if that changes anything. Similarly, I can bring this up here. That's a four combo, which is, you know, nice. And similarly, I can potentially set something up. The question is, where do I want to drag this talent token, right? I'm thinking here might be helpful for setup later on down the line, or maybe right here to break things up and to potentially set up for a four vertical combo. Aww, nice. We also got a power token out of that, which is really helpful. And I can also use this to get both sentiment and um, an extra move. 
So things are starting to look a bit better now. We can get a passion combo. We can get a sexuality combo. But I'm not seeing a whole lot else beyond, you know, a couple basic three combos. What I can do is because of this talent setup right here, I can actually drag this broken heart well out of the way and clear up that area a little bit. And it looks like I don't have to worry about clearing those that line of passions, so we should be okay. Cool. So that helped alleviate some of the, the threat of those broken hearts. And we're starting to get quite a few more passion tokens on the board. Honestly, I feel like I just want to use this and get it out of the way. But at the same time, I feel like I should try a little bit harder. What I could do is set up a combo here. The only... Eh, it should be fine. <laughs> Little bit, little bit scary, but again, should be fine. Not too bad. And then, what do we want to do next? I'd like to get a four talent over here, but I'm not confident that'll exactly happen. Is there something I can set up by dragging one of these down? Doesn't seem so. Unfortunately. All I can think of is maybe do this. Get a little bit. Um, I can do a double here, or a triple here actually, given that I'll get the talent, the passion, and the sexuality token. And some more passion, it seems. So that, that turned out pretty well. And... I guess I can do a bit of a double here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, I can clear this sentiment, and this will allow me to get a five combo of flirtation on the next turn, and I don't think it'll put me in danger of broken hearts or anything like that. So what I'm gonna wanna do here is this. <laughs> and that brings us to success. Okay, okay, but don't get too cocky. <laughs> it's not like I like you or anything, Baka. So again, that's Nikki, and um, she's a, a favorite. But alas, there are still quite a few girls to meet. And unfortunately, we're going to have to be doing that in the next episode. I can confirm that there will be another episode, because... Again, we're still at the very introductory stage, right? We don't even know who this character is. Well, you guys don't know who this character is. And there are some secret girls we might get to know. And beyond that, we're probably not going to continue too much. We're, we're starting to get pictures from some of the girls we're going on dates with. And like I said, the first pictures are usually relatively um, harmless. But again, I don't want to... I don't... I'm treading carefully in well-known dangerous waters. So, I'm going to play it safe. But regardless... I hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, apologies for the the di distractions um, or interruptions during the episode. I hope you understand. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, this is Movie Night Zero, and this mission is complete. <laughs>